Hi everybody, um, today we are going to talk about multiplying polynomials and we're going to learn two different methods um, to do this. Uh, our warm-up asks us to add or subtract the polynomials, so the really important thing to remember is that when you're subtracting, you need to distribute that negative. So let's rewrite these without our parentheses. And now we combine like terms. So let's find all the terms with just an x. So I have 3x and negative 5x. So I get negative 2x. And then I can cross them off. Um, let's find all of our xy's. I have 2xy, 4xy, and 1xy, which gives me 7xy. And then then. Let's look at our y values. I have negative 1y, negative 3y, and positive 3y. These two cancel out, so I'm just left with negative y. So when we're multiplying um, polynomials, um, there are two methods you can use. One of them I call the rainbow method, or maybe you've heard um, FOIL method. It's where you draw in rainbows so you make sure every term gets multiplied by every term. So you start with that first term of x and I'm going to draw a rainbow to my x and to my 2. But then I'm also going to draw rainbows from my negative 5 to the x and my negative 5 to the 2. Those are all of the things I'm going to multiply out. Okay, So I'm going to start with that x times x and I get x squared. And I have x times 2 just 2x, negative 5 times x, and negative 5 times 2. And then from here, all I need to do is combine like terms. So I can combine 2x and negative 5x, so I get x squared minus 3x minus 10. And I'm done multiplying. Let's look at the second one. Sometimes it's just one term but it still needs to be multiplied or distributed to both terms on the inside. So I have 2x times x, which is 2x squared, and I have 2x times negative 7, which is negative 14x. So when this method can get kind of um, messy is when you have um, larger polynomials, such as a trinomial. So I can still use this method, you just have to be really careful um, to keep your work organized. So I'm going to draw in lots of rainbows here, and I'm going to start multiplying. y times 2y squared is 2y cubed. y times 3x is 3xy. I'm sorry, I think that was supposed to be a y. So let's do 3y squared, and then y times negative 5 is negative 5y. And then I need to multiply my bottom rainbow. So 5 times 2y squared is 10y squared. 5 times 3y is 15y. And then I have minus 25. So there's a lot of terms to keep track of. Um, so now we need to combine like terms. So my 2y squared is all, 2y cubed is all alone, so it stays the same. And I have 3y squared and 10y squared, so that gives me 13y squared. Then I have negative 5y and positive 15y, which gives me positive 10y. And then I have that minus 25 at the end. That is my answer. Um, so I'm going to show you a different way that you can multiply out polynomials. You end up with the same answer, and it's very similar, um, but it's just a different way to keep them organized, and this is called the box method. So here, since I'm multiplying a binomial times a binomial, I'm going to make a 2 by 2 box, like this. And on one side, I'm going to put both of my terms, 2x and positive 1, and then going up and down, I'm going to put my other terms, x and negative 4. So in the box, they tell me exactly what to multiply. So for this first box right here, I'm going to be multiplying x times 2x. So it's 2x squared. Um, I can do x times 1, which is x. This would be negative 8x, and this would be negative 4. So it's just a different way to keep your work organized. 
It works out kind of nice because when you combine like terms, you can just look diagonally right here. So your 2x squared stays the same. And we have negative 8x and positive x, which is negative 7x. And then we have negative 4. Um, here's an example that tends to trick a lot of people. I want to remind you that x minus 5 squared means that you are multiplying x minus 5 by itself. It really means this. So I really recommend that you rewrite it out so you can see that you either need to use the rainbow method or the box method. So I'm going to do the box method again. So I have x and negative 5 x and negative 5. And then all I need to do is combine like terms. So I have x squared minus 10x plus 25. The box method really works best for um, larger polynomials, like when you have a trinomial. So I can set up a 2 by 3 box. So I have x and 2. And I have 3x squared, negative 2x, and positive 6. So the number of the boxes tell you exactly what you should be multiplying. And then from here, all you need to do is combine like terms. So I see I can combine those two, and I can combine these two. I'll do that in a different color. So I'm left with 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 2x plus 12. And this last example, um, on problems like this, where you have a trinomial multiplied by a trinomial, I really recommend to use the box method because these types of problems can get really messy, and the box helps to keep your terms organized. So I have x squared, negative x, and 1, x squared, 4x, and negative 12. Then you just need to start multiplying. And then from there, we're going to combine like terms. So right here, right here, and right here. So I'm left with x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus 15x squared plus 16x minus 12. So you can see here that, that, that the box method really helps um, to keep your numbers organized and it makes combining like terms a lot easier. And that is all for today.